Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I am in Tennessee. This morning I'm in Tennessee. Got at the boat ramp super early. I'm doing some kayaking on a river here, but I think I'll check in with y'all uh, when it gets a little bit brighter. All right, well, maybe y'all can see me a little bit better now, but the river I'm fishing today has smallmouth in it, which is what I really want to catch. It's also got a good bit of largemouth and spotted bass, so we've got a good chance of catching those. It's got some rock bass in it, so there's a lot of fish in here. I really just hope I can catch some fish today. I did a float on this river earlier this year with John from Creek Fishing Adventures, and I did not land a fish. He did catch a few largemouth, uh, maybe a couple smallmouth, and a couple of rock bass, um, and I did not land a fish. But hopefully today will be better and we can get some smallmouth. My goal is to catch at least one smallmouth over 16 inches, which is probably like a two pounder. So I think that's very possible, but you'll have to stay tuned and we'll see if we can make that happen. All right, I might have to try some top water this morning. I have no idea if they'll hit top water. The water might be a tad bit cold for it, but when I was looking online, it looked like the river temp really fluctuated throughout the day. I mean, it would get like a lot warmer in, in the middle of the day. I don't know, they might hit top water. Oh, there's a fish. Oh my gosh, already. On the chop though. Seems good too. Oh my gosh. Be a smallie, please. Even if it's just another type of bass, whatever. Oh, oh, it's a smallmouth. Dude, you're kidding. Oh my gosh. We got a 16 inch smallie with the first fish of the day. Wow, there's some weird goose right here looking at me. Are you kidding me? This is a probably a 16 inch smallie on top water too. Hopefully that's not bad luck. It wasn't my first cast. It was probably like my fifth or so. Dude, that is awesome. I'm gonna throw him on the board, but I think he's probably 16 inches. He looks just right about a 16 incher. All right, he was 16 and a quarter. I'm not gonna bother weighing him. I think I've already wasted too much time because if they're hitting top water today, that would be awesome. But I'm already happy. Already got a pretty nice small mouth right off the bat. All right, buddy, I'll let you go. It's fun catching these smallies. Catch a lot of shoal bass in Georgia, but not many small mouth at all. All right, well, I paddled up to where the water kind of first comes in this deep hole and I mean, really it was pretty shallow until I got here and it's still pretty shallow. So I kind of knew that's how this river was. Um, so I might have to go down to that deep hole where I caught that first fish. Uh, it might not be worth my time to try to drag up through these rapids just to get some more, just to get to some more shallow water. There's fish, no way. Oh, it's a good small mouth. I was getting ready to leave. Oh, dude, get on in here. I was really getting ready to leave. This might be a 17 incher. Oh my gosh. It's actually really good. That might be more than 17. This is a long and skinny small mouth. That is such a weird, like a weirdly built fish. I mean, I'm used to catching shoal bass, which are different than small mouth, but this guy is so long and skinny. I mean, he might be over 18 inches, like he might be, he's just, he's the opposite of a football. He's just so long and skinny. Dude, that is a nice small mouth. Um, he was like 17 and three quarter inches. I said he was skinny. He's not really skinny, he's just slender. That's a better word for it. But that is a really nice small mouth. This one's definitely over two pounds. I'm gonna weigh him, he might be around two and a half. All right, two pounds, one ounce. He's less than I thought. I guess that is because he's just so dang slender. But it's still, that's a good fish, almost an 18 incher. I was just hoping to catch at least one over 16 today. I mean, I still think I'll probably leave this area pretty soon and hit a different spot, but I'm glad I came here already because I got two pretty good smallmouth. Watch this guy swim off in this really clear water. He was in a really random spot. It wasn't even that deep. But that's a nice smallmouth. Man, he looks so big in the water. Just so long and skinny. I guess y'all can't even really see him swimming, but I'm looking at my camera, there's too much glare. But that was a really awesome catch. Um, that was really unexpected. When he hit the spinnerbait and I hook set it, I thought it was like a tiny fish. And then uh, I reeled him in and he was a lot bigger than I thought. All right, I just paddled a little upstream again, a little bit further this time. And I'm gonna throw the spinnerbait on the way back, but I don't get any bites or catch anything. Then I think I'm gonna switch spots. Oh, I'm too close to the street. No, oh my gosh, dude, are you kidding me? That was crazy. 
Well, I'm glad I went back up river. Oh, my line broke. Oh my gosh, this is, that's a nicer looking smallmouth. Oh, well, there's some wood right here. I thought I got a follow on my last cast. I couldn't tell. Um, but man, that was a little chaotic. I held it like right above the line. It was probably frayed and the line just broke. Or right above the lure. Wow. <laughs> that totally bent my spinnerbait out. I mean, I have another one that, I bought another one of these. Um, I can probably bend it back though. But that is crazy. That's another one around 16. He is so feisty though. I mean, he was by far the craziest fighter and he like kind of hooked me. I probably should have just netted him, but since he was like leaping in the air like that, I just kind of went ahead and flipped him in the boat. All right, that was awesome, dude. I mean, he just crushed the spinnerbait. I'm finally gaining some confidence on the spinnerbait this fall. And this was another 16 inch and he was pretty much right at 16. So, uh, he was the smallest of the day, but still a nice fish and quite the fighter. All right, I'll let this guy go. I'm sure he'll dart off here in a second. He wouldn't stop flopping around. But that's a pretty looking smallmouth. I'm glad I've at least got to catch three of those guys today. And three pretty good ones. I mean, I just don't ever get to catch them, really. Oh, got one. Already. On the spinnerbait. Oh my gosh. I already had a couple follows. Oh. Well, I switched spots. Um, actually, technically I'm on the same river. I'm just far further downstream. But there's a little spotted bass. This is a spot that has like a ton of spotted bass and some largemouth. There might be a few smallmouth here, but they're not very likely. Um, so I just wanted to come here because I thought if they were hitting the spinnerbait up there earlier, then some fish here might hit the spinnerbait. It's not too big, but that's a good sign. He already nailed the spinnerbait. Um, I'll let him go. There are some really big fish in here. And I actually just talked to the guy in the boat over there, and he said they were hitting topwater the other day. So I might have to throw the chopo too, but I really want to gain more confidence on the spinnerbait. So I think I'm going to keep throwing that for now. There's another one on the spinnerbait. This one's better. Ooh. Dude. All right, I need to net this one because, oh man, he's a fighter. It's probably at least two pounds. It's not a bad one. Oh, don't throw the spinnerbait. This is crazy. Oh yes, dude. I've been in the water for like 10 minutes. I've already caught two really fast. Um, that's a good spot of bass, probably around two pounds. I had a couple backup spots today and this was not one of them, but because they were hitting the spinnerbait so good, I was like, I want to kayak somewhere else. So I chose to go here. All right, I like to measure my fish, but I got too many rods in the boat and I think today is going to be a good day of fishing. So I don't want to waste too much time, but that guy's probably close to two pounds, around 16 inches. That's definitely a nice spot of bass. There's much bigger ones than this guy in here though, but he's a fat little guy. Little guy. There we go. Oh, he popped off. He could come back. Uh, he wasn't that big. Oh, he, he bit it again. Got him. Uh, sometimes they do that. Get on in here, fish. All right, so I'm actually fishing a different river now. Uh, the spot I put in at is, it's probably a spot you recognize if you watch any of uh, John's videos, Creek Fishing Adventures. Um, he fishes here, or he has fished here a lot. Um, but basically I'm fishing another river now, like I was, I put in right at the mouth of this river and I'm now paddling up it. And this river, like the other river I was fishing, is also dam controlled and they're not releasing any water right now. And after getting two fat fish super fast in the other river on moving baits and then having like no action in this river on moving baits, I think it's probably because they're not releasing any water. So I decided to go with finesse, uh, got a little spotted bass there, pretty fast on the Nico leech. I hope they release water soon. Then I'll go back to moving baits, but if not, then I might stick with this little finesse lure. Well, that guy is definitely the smallest of the day, by far, kind of, but I'll let him go. I really like that Nico leech because it's super buoyant. It sticks like super straight up. I think that's pretty good in like a, you know, really clear, slow moving river like I'm fishing right now. Oh, 
Oh, there's the little guy. Thought he might come off, but came right out of the tree. I mean, I really think the bigger fish will eat a spinner bait, but I think the water needs to be going for them to actually hit a spinner bait. So, ah, for now I'm just using finesse. Anyway, that's another tiny little bass. Oh my gosh, he's actually still on there. All right, we're just catching giants now. Absolute giants. I mean, maybe I'll be able to catch a big fish on this thing. I just think a moving bait would be much better in this river. Is a fish? This is a fish, <laughs> not a little guy. Ugh. Well, once I get back to that other river, if the water's still moving, I think I might be able to catch another fish or two on the um, spinner bait. But I'm sticking, but I'm sticking with the leech for now. There's one on the spinner bait. Oh man, it's all tangled. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's a giant perch on the spinner bait. <laughs> I don't think I've ever caught a perch on a spinner bait. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what I saw earlier. Well, this is definitely a first. I've never caught a yellow perch on a spinner bait before. I'm basically at the takeout. All right, I'll let this perch go. It's actually a big perch. He was like right about 11 inches which I think is actually the size to get a certificate for like a little award in Tennessee. Um, I don't know if I'll do that or not, but there he goes. All right, well, I just got off the water. Overall, today was not amazing, but I'm still pretty with, happy with how it turned out. You know, the first spot I was hoping to just catch at least maybe like one nice small mouth. Um, I knew there was kind of like that one deep area there and then the rest of the river around there is like super shallow. So I know there's probably not a ton of bass there, but I knew there were probably some small mouth Managed to catch three and all three of them were pretty good. So I'm happy about that. The second spot wasn't super good. I did catch more fish here, but for the most part, they're all pretty small. I did get that one nice spot of bass, but overall I'm happy with how it turned out. Had some nice action on the spinner bait. Also caught one on the chopper, so can't really complain there. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, but I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.